Welcome everyone to another episode of Nerdstradamus. I'm Dr. Pence. I'm Lambo. And it's time for a weekly wrap-up of news. So we're mm-hmm. going to talk about last week's news and like give you a little rundown of everything that happened mm-hmm. and a little discussion. Our main topic is going to be streaming. Who does that? Well, we, we do, kind of. Occasionally. Yeah, but otherwise it's, it's mostly teenagers. <clears throat> anyway, before we uh, get too far into our main topic, we're just going to hit up some of the, the big things that happened this week. The first one, of course, is that, uh, you, know, you know Ninja... That, that guy who plays Fortnite on Twitch. Yeah. Uh, except he's not on Twitch anymore. What? <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. He quit Twitch? Yeah, he quit Twitch. So where'd he go? Mixer. What's Mixer? Uh, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> okay. it's, it's, it's best left for, uh, for, for, for everything. You're going to leave me on the edge of my seat. Yes. Uh, Nintendo Switch Online is uh, offering a few new perks. They are. In Japan, you are given a free week trial period of Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. I believe that's still going on, if I'm not totally wrong. I I don't (laughs) know. But it's the full game. Mm -hmm. You get a week to keep playing it. Uh, In Europe and North America, we're getting Mario Tennis Aces. Oh, yeah. Which is totally long enough to play through the main storyline. You know? Get a handle of the online. It's it's how a demo should be. Yeah, and the game is 30% off during this time as well. So if you like it a lot, you can get it at a, at a nice little discount. Right. So there you go. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, they're actually fleshing out the online service more than it was before, which wasn't much at all. No. Also on the Nintendo Switch, we got some some ports uh, a couple of weeks ago. We got the, the three Doom ports dropped. Woo! Right Doom along, 1, 2, and 3. Now, right along with that, though, we got announcements of... A couple of cool games we're really excited for. The first, of course, being the Ghostbusters video game. Now, this is the one that was on PS3 and Xbox 360 back in the day. Not the Wii one. No, no. It's not the broken, you know... Motion-controlled one. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's the good one. Basically, Ghostbusters 3. Woo! Right. The other port we're getting is Outer Worlds, Obsidian's first-person sci-fi exploration RPG, which, Mm -hmm. if you're a fan of things like Fallout New Vegas... You're probably going to really like this, because Obsidian did that, and that's personally, like, my favorite Fallout game, so... Now, this isn't going to stop me from getting it on my PS4, unfortunately, because it comes out in October, and the Switch one's coming out, like, you know, question mark. Yeah, well, I'm getting... I'm getting too much in the fall, so I'm willing to wait. (laughs) Uh, But nonetheless, it should be an amazing situation. We're seeing more and more of this happen. It used to be the explanation that, like, oh, you know, Nintendo, they're behind the times. Their system isn't powerful enough. And now it's just like, no, we're getting almost everything. Almost. Almost. Where's Cyberpunk on the Switch? And the Call of Duties for the Call of Duty people. Who cares about that? (laughs) On the PlayStation side of things, PS Plus this month. It's dropping really, really soon here. Uh, I think it's today, right? Or it'll be uh, Tuesday, right? For the thing, right? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Wipeout Omega Collection, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. And Sniper Elite 4. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Wipeout is the, 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 you know, rich man's Extreme G. Or the poor man's F-Zero. Ugh. Nintendo, give me more F-Zero. What do you think of Sp- Sniper Elite? I'm not a big shooter guy, but no? but I heard Sniper Elite's actually really, really good, so I might at least give it a shot to see what it's like. Might as well. And I mean, like, these are free games. I can't complain too much. But is it worth the hard drive space? I don't know. Yeah. Then we have some good news and some bad news for some PlayStation. Which one you want? Huh? Yeah? <sighs> give me huh? some good news. Some good news first? Yeah. They had 100 million units shipped. Woo! We did it, guys! We did it! 100 million! We did it! We did except, it! Except we, we didn't. We did, we did it. I wonder we did do it, because we helped. We bought PlayStation. We bought PlayStation. All right, we yeah, helped we Sony reach 100 million. Yes. And here's the bad news. Oh, no. Um, due to, you know, the tariffs, you know, who, who knows how they work, um, uh, that may be coming down the line aimed at tech industry stuff, um, we might see an increase in PlayStation branded things. Like the price? The uh-huh. price going up? Why? Yep. Why? Mm-hmm. The PS5 is coming out, like, next year, or at least it's rumored to. Yep. How much am I going to spend on it? I don't know. And this is kind of scary because if, um, you know, the PlayStation 5, when it launches, is $100 more than the other account, the, the other, you know, option we have and from the Microsoft side of things, it might spell the, you know, the, the winner. Because the cheaper system has been the winner forever. Not entirely true. Not entirely true? I point you at the Wii U. <sighs> um... Was that cheaper than everything? I guess it was cheaper. It was launched cheaper than everything. I agree. It was, yeah, yeah, by a long shot. So, And probably 
uh, the PlayStation era with the Nintendo 64, that wasn't the cheapest one either. No. But the last couple generations, though, it has. Right, yeah. right, right. Where the Wii was, of course. And the then, cheaper uh, version yeah. and the PlayStation 4, of course. Mm-hmm. But, huh, it's mm-hmm. interesting. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, there's not a whole lot we can really do about it. Nope. We'll just wait and see. Mm-hmm. Speaking of waiting money. and seeing, for some reason, um, Fire Emblem... Three houses. That's our game of the week. Why is that wait and see? <laughs> I don't know. Cause is it good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, in the first week, I put in like 15, 20 hours into it, and I mm-hmm. haven't done that in a game in a while. I've, I've been kind of like on the fence about this. I'm thinking about it. I'm really am. It's really, really good. I'll, I'll show mm-hmm. you some of it. Oh, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll show you some of the stuff that you're not aware yeah, of. Yeah, because yeah. you, you were saying something that it's like a it's close to 200-hour game, right? <laughs> if you do every path in the game. There's okay. four different paths to go through. You can pick one of the three houses plus a secret. Yeah. Fourth path. Ooh. But it's very, it's very much take the what Fire Emblem used to be when it launched in America, cross it with what Persona Five is now, and that's what Three Houses is. It's really, really cool. There's a lot going on in it. It's a beautiful game. Um, the face animations in handheld mode are a little weird. There's some lines that pop mm-hmm. up, but otherwise, it's really, really good. And uh, this is gonna start a whole new like you know level of like I don't know who this cosplay is. Can you can you tell? There's so but, many people in this game. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. Because yeah. I picked one house, I'm not super familiar with everybody from the other houses. Okay. I know some of them. Like, I know this guy. That's yeah. Lorenz because he has the bad hair. Yeah. I'm just look at be, that hair! Well, I'm just going to be like, you're just a random anime person. Okay, I have to say, Lambo, how does this change the cosplay thing for you at anime cons? Because you don't know who any of these people are. You don't watch anime. Anyway. It's our game of the week. It's really good. If you guys switch, Nintendo's killing it over the summer. Because mm-hmm. in all honesty... Yeah, no one else is putting stuff out. No, Microsoft and Sony Seriously. haven't really put anything out. Yeah. They're all waiting for their next console. Seems well, like and, and the fall, because a lot of stuff is coming out in the fall. Mm-hmm. And over the course of the next spring. But... Indeed. Besides the point. That brings us to our main topic. What is Mixer? <laughs> what is Mixer? Okay. So Mixer <laughs> is uh, uh, Microsoft's answer to, answer to Twitch, of course. If you go on to your uh, your Xbox One, and this is because you don't have one, it's okay. It's okay. You really are missing out. On what? Oh, I'm sorry. Halo? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, um, but when you uh, – there's like a little community tab, and it pops up, and they have their own in-house streaming service, and people are playing everything on it. People are playing, you know, of course, obviously, like, you know, PC and Xbox games, but they're also playing – Nintendo, all kinds of crazy stuff. Okay, so is this only on Xbox or can I watch it on PC? You can watch it on PC. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can watch it on my phone. You can watch it on your phone. There's an app. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but uh, Ninja has moved over to Mixer. Why? Now, now that's not all we're going to talk about here. We're going to talk about streaming in general because Mixer has become, um, I I think they're really gunning for it now. There's the, them wanting to get Ninja on their side is a huge power play by my, by Microsoft. It is because streaming is the thing right now. Mm. That is the huge thing right now. Mm-hmm. Games have to be streamable. Yeah, because that's what makes them money makers <laughs> over the long term too. Yeah, we, we mentioned multiple times game development periods are getting long. They are. It's, it's difficult to make a game, especially at the level a lot of people want their game to look and play. And um, for that reason, it, it, it's a lot more profitable and a lot more likely to be a good idea for a company to invest in the long term on a game. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. But there are caveats with that. But, oh, totally. Yeah. 100%. But it mm-hmm. does work out. I mean, look at one of our first episodes. We yeah. talked about our top five games of 2016. 2016. What came out in 2016 that people are still playing? Overwatch. Oh, jeez. We, right. we literally just a, like recently had a new hero launch. For yeah, it. yeah. So, like, it's still being supported. Mm-hmm. It's still being played. But it's still being streamed. Mm-hmm. And that's kept its legs all the way through this whole thing. Right. Well, same with Fortnite. I mean, Fortnite is constantly being streamed. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got Ninja, a person who's really, really famous for just playing video games. And pretty much synonymous with Fortnite, even though he started out as a Halo streamer, apparently. Really? When I did my research. Tell me if I'm wrong. Comment below. Tell (laughs) Lambo he's wrong. I don't even know. But, so, yeah. And, Mm -hmm. I mean, Fortnite's been going. We're on, what, season 10-ish? Yeah. Or whatever. I don't even know. I mean, I think the game's been going like three or four years now. Mm -hmm. It's nuts. And it's just... Do you watch streamers? You're asking me a dangerous question here. Why? Why is that dangerous? Because I kind of don't. Do you watch any? I don't... uh, If you're asking me do I watch like Twitch or like the the streaming thing, I I, I don't. But do you watch any people who stream? 
Okay, I watch a couple of YouTubers who stream, and then they upload their, like, compilations of their, like, playthroughs. Okay, so you don't watch them live and Mm -hmm. comment as they play. No, I don't don't know if I can handle it. But you do watch gameplay of streamers after they upload it. Yeah, yeah, I'm a Mario Maker guy, you know? That makes sense. It's fun to watch Mario Maker. Um, We've mentioned it before, of course. I like to watch Ryu Car. Um, I'll watch uh, Carl Sagan. And uh, Carl Sagan's dead. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> nope, he's streaming on Twitch. <laughs> What's he streaming? Mario Maker. <laughs> anyway, um, no, but I watch those, those kind of guys, and uh, um, they're, they're, it's fun to watch Mario Maker. Oh, I'm sure. Because there's always new stuff. They're teaching me how to play. I'm getting better because I'm watching some of their techniques. I'm learning them to do some of the things they do. Okay. And uh, it's it's kind of a fun community to be a part of. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you watch any streaming? No. No. I don't even watch, like, uploaded gameplays afterwards. No? I don't want to watch people play games. Do you watch our streams? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm there while we're streaming it. I don't <laughs> Could you, could you rewatch our 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 Water Temple stream? No, 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 no. no, no. Oh my God, no, 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 no. I would get ridiculously PTSD from that. <laughs> if you want to watch one of the worst things we've ever done and uploaded, watch the Water Temple stream of Ocarina of Time because I had a mental breakdown yeah. and lost the will to live. Mm-hmm. Um, no, and I, there's nothing against it, but no. w- with games, I want to be the one playing them. And 100%, I can, I feel the same way. I can understand your Mario Maker thing with wanting to learn a bit more. Yeah, but I. Like, I might watch a little bit of a tutorial on something if there's just some mechanic in a game I don't get, Mm -hmm. but I'm going to watch, like, a snippet of it. I'm going to fast forward to that part, watch it, and be like, okay, I'm good, and then I want to play. And we've known people who like to watch games. Oh, yeah. Protzka was a huge fan of it. He he loved the social aspect of just watching somebody play Mm -hmm. because he also wasn't great at games. (laughs) <laughs> but he liked them though and he, he, lo- he and, loved and it was games. still a social thing you right. know like you can still get there and and enjoy the game with people right you know right but so the other thing is is like i don't watch any streaming you yeah. watch uploaded gameplay but we do stream yeah like once a week for maybe two hours yeah i don't get it i don't get streaming i i, I there, there has to be something socially important to it you know because once again, we are social animals, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. uh, we can get really, really like biological here, I imagine, and maybe psychological. Right. Um, that It's probably fun to like, you know, do things together and, you and know. sharing those experiences and whatnot. And mm-hmm. like, I, okay, I get it. I get it a little bit, but like, but at the same time, yeah, when I, it's a game, I, I want to experience the game myself. Now, if I talk to a couple of our other Nerdstradamus people though, like, you know, Slow Ted, for example, he will just watch, a, a, you know playthroughs of games he will and he'll stream yeah. just for funsies mm-hmm. and I, and punk joined us because he was he wanted to stream mm-hmm. other duties in life have kept him away but mm-hmm. he'll be back yeah he will be back but for us like gaming is a personal thing mm-hmm. i am a huge single player game player mm-hmm. like most of my favorite games are single player rpgs that that's what i want to play and like i just want to sit on my couch and kind of play it and quiet with no one else around no one yelling <laughs> at me or anything but and the occasional couch co-op game. Mm-hmm. But, like, being watched changes it. Oh, yeah, totally. I mean, like, here's the deal. Here's the deal. It's fun to be on there and to interact. We were playing, uh, you know, uh, Trials of Mana. People were helping us out. Oh, yeah, that it was, was a lot of fun. When we were playing through Zelda, a bunch of people we knew, like, kind of popped in. It was a lot of fun. And, and the same thing happens when we did, like, Mario RPG. Mm-hmm. And Mario Maker, people send us levels and whatnot. And it's, it's great. It's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. But... There's a performance aspect. There to is. I get stage fright with it, which is probably why the water temple was just <laughs> awful. We've played that level so many, so times. many times. We know what we're doing, and yet we we, we choked real we bad. We did. We got the yips. Mm-hmm. We got the yips yep. real bad. Yep. And just, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think I think streaming is is. I think we're past our prime in it. Oh yeah, this is definitely something. Our that, Twitch like, prime. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, we were. Uh, Definitely, like, a couple of years too too old for it. For yeah. it to, like, really hit us. Yeah. I remember back in college, people would stream, like, World of Warcraft and stuff like that, and there were gameplay videos, and I remember saying to myself, how'd they even get that on the YouTube? Like, yeah. whatever. And Leroy Jenkins. But, but but that was the original stuff. Those are the people who are now, like, have millions of followers and are really, really popular and are driving the industry. <laughs> yeah. Because that's where everything is. That's where everything's going. Gaming is a social experience. It's no longer me, you know, trying to, like, be better than, like, me yesterday and, and get through a game. Now it's about the shared experience of, 
you know, completing something. Which here's the funny thing then that just like dawned on me. Hmm. So this fall coming up, I am yeah. getting nothing but Nintendo games. Yeah. Do you know why? They're not shared experiences. <laughs> They're all single player experiences. They're all games I'm going to sit and play by myself and enjoy. Mm. Because a lot of these games are going shared experiences. Look at Destiny, Fallout 76. Yeah. Like all these games are going massive multiplayer. Like you've got to be with other people talking and working together. I will play Fallout 76, but I will either solo or I will co-op with him only, and that's mm -hmm. it. It's the same way we play Destiny, and that's why we stopped playing Destiny, because we're garbage at it. But that's fair. Uh -huh. But it's just, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just interesting that that's mm -hmm. where it's going. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, that's what keeps games alive and everything. And it's it's cool, and it's interesting to see how it changes, but I don't have a butt, actually. That was the end of my <laughs> That was it. He doesn't have a butt. He doesn't have a butt. He doesn't have a butt. Sorry, I'm sitting on nothing right now. <laughs> you don't even have a leg to stand on. <clears throat> no, I've got legs. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, what do you guys think about streaming? What streamers do you watch? Try to change our minds. Is, is there something that, about streaming that we, we just don't get? Are we too old? We're too old. We're, I, That's probably it. Because we grew up in a time when playing video games was the nerdy thing to do, and you got made fun of for the mm -hmm. different games you played. And now it's the too cool thing to do. Actually, we still get made fun of for playing the games we do. Check out some of our YouTube comments on the Force of Videos. <laughs> But, yeah, like, are, are we too old? Are we past it? Or is there just something we're not getting, something we're not doing right? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. And, hey, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Make sure to smash that like button. All that stuff. You know how it goes. Mm -hmm. And follow us on all the social media because we're Nurture Dumps everywhere except for Twitter. We're Nurture Dumps DL. For down below. Right. And if you follow us there, you'll also get updates on when we're streaming because we don't do it all the time. Mm -hmm. We try to do it every Friday. We will be back this Friday. But anyway, for Nurse I'm Dr. Pants. I'm Lambo. Catch you. Some other time. <laughs>